you, we have a hormone called uh, dopamine. Dopamine. Forget the first part of it, but do dopamine <laughs> is, a, is a hormone that, that, that actually causes us to, to search or to seek out um, things, knowledge, information. And we get great satisfaction from it. And, and when, um, um, and when, as we search out and as we seek out information, dopamine levels kind of rise and they, and they give us, it, that hormone gives us great satisfaction. And then there's another hormone that goes along uh, with it or travels in the same direction. It's called oxytocin. Now oxytocin is, called, is, the, is known as the cuddle chemical. Because when it, when it rises, when oxytocin rises, what, it, what happens is you actually uh, uh, um, you feel close to people. In fact, when you kiss or when you hug, oxytocin levels go up. And so vicar vicariously, oftentimes, the exchange of information through social media is is a hug or a, or a friendly greeting. And it has been shown that spending 10 minutes on social media, spending 10 minutes, it has been shown that sh spending 10 minutes on Facebook will actually raise your oxytocin levels about 13%, which is equivalent to the levels of oxytocin of some people on the day that they get married. And so, and so the reason people oftentimes not only are on Facebook and love Facebook and can't get off Facebook is because being on Facebook actually raises the levels of dopamine and oxytocin to the point where it is often more difficult to stop tweeting or Facebooking than it is to resist smoking or alcohol. Now the challenge here is that we're talking about the wide gate. Not every, not everything on, you know, not everything on Facebook, Instagram, tweeting, and so forth is bad. Not all of that is bad. No, 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 no. It's a way of finding people. It's a way of connecting with people, and and that's where the oxytocin and the dopamine comes in. That's so it can be. It has a good function. But one of the things we have to be careful about in today's society is that we live in a reality TV program society. And we live in an instant gratification society where everybody wants to be recognized for being deep and having something to say. And what we have to be careful about is there are some people who haven't earned the right to say anything because they haven't done anything to talk about. Now, now, why am I listening to you? Why am I following you? What have you done that I should be following? What have you grown? What have you built? What have you made? What have you progressed? Where is your fruit? Where is your productivity? What organization have you built? What institution have you grown? How many people have you led to Christ? What have you done? Where is your achievement? Where is your accomplishment? Why am I following you? That's the wide gate. Whole lot of people enter that gate. 